Uh, okay, so this is the second thing. So now I understand how this webcam and the whole Jawara screen recorder works, right? So, uh, uh, decided to do a much uh, improved version of the recording that I wanted to do. So basically, today, um, it's about analyzing the two reads that you see in my portfolio because uh, one of them, some tank, the other one, Capital Commercial Trust, has uh, started including foreign properties into their portfolio. So this whole thing sparked off from the experience that I had from attending Sinta EGM where Sinta has uh, many uh, foreign business operations plus having so many business foreign business operations does it equal equip to profitability and cash flow positive right so uh, it happens that for some time I did email the uh, investor relations and they gave me a response plus on the on the on the report you see that they have Australia properties right yeah plus uh, if you have also watched the other videos I also bring quite my way of uh, evaluating risk is also kind of, kind of different because uh, my intention of uh, getting vested in REITs was more for the distributions because plus I'm very mindful of this amount um, and, and how this amount is arrived is because of all the other things up here and it's, and it's linked back up I think it's uh, 117 here is the group one one seven five nine five. Yeah, you see the figure here, right? This figure. So it's related to the PNL of the read. Plus, how do I know whether uh, Suntech? How does Suntech read account for the foreign currency exchange gains and losses? Because this affects the amount of distribution I'll get as a read unit holder. So it happens that some tech is pretty straightforward with the reporting of such items. They lump it under non-tax chargeable items under footnote I. So I'm going to read the footnote I and you see that the foreign currency exchange differences is here. One question that may come out of your mind is that do I have to be so particular? Uh, it depends because uh, right now I have to be particular because the two weeks are starting to have uh, foreign properties in the portfolio. Okay. Though this amount is small as compared to maybe what Singtel had, okay. this amount will affect the amount of distributions I receive as a unit holder. Okay, so kindly go and re uh, revisit uh, the week that you hold and their respective property portfolios. So I was looking at uh, Evident Commercial and I, think, I believe the only um, thing that it wasn't as straightforward as uh, Suntank and in June, I think it was June. Yes, Galileo was acquired by CCT on the 18th June 2018. Plus, this is the first time they are, I believe they are including the including the uh, currency, uh, the foreign currency exchange gains or losses, because they also own this 11% uh, of uh, commercial real estate in Malaysia. So let me just go and search this word foreign F-O-R-P-I-G-N um, um, I'm not sure if this is how it goes but definitely one of the things that I've written down here uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be clear but in a nutshell 
what I did observe was that according to the P and L, I'm going to link out all the numbers together. Okay, for the first half, okay. So just take note of this number of the group is here, this column. 355693. 355693. Okay. And it's linked to the cash flow. Looking for the cash flow. Yes. It's here. 355693. 355693. Right. And despite and uh, after going through the normal operational activities, the investing activities and the and the financial activities, including distributing money to the unit holders, right? You see that we arrived at the one six six one six six one one nine, which happens to calculate to the cash and cash equivalent right here into the balance sheet so let me go and take a look at the balance sheet so you look and see that the cash and cash equivalent down here 166119 and because ultimately it relates to this unit holder unit holders fund Right down here, unit holders funds of six eight eight one eight three one six eight eight one eight three one, and that is related to the movement in reserves. So let me just go back and search for that word. So of course, like I mentioned, um, you see that. In this line, note one, this relates to translation differences between from foreign operations and foreign currency loans forming part of net investment in foreign operations. So, uh, have, do I have to be the particular, um, like I mentioned, if your read has an uh, extensive overseas portfolio, kindly just look at it because uh, it could probably answer. Uh, as to why the read, even though the foreign operations may be profitable, but it is un but it could probably not allow the read to pay out distributions from those uh, overseas properties. Of course, um, one caveat is I'm not an expert in foreign tax property tax laws, so. That is also one area uh, just to take note and if you could go and attend the EGM and verify with the share with the management and uh, this is what I wanted to uh, share with you of how I look at or perhaps analyze my reads so um, as I gather more experience I'll just do updates on these reads uh, kind of, you find that it, uh, if it has given you some value uh, just subscribe or leave a comment below or perhaps even better uh, just drop a question that you may have in mind uh, in the comments below so uh, see you guys soon